Um, it's okay. Honestly, it's been really, really hard just to comprehend everything that's been happening. Jordan Childs is opening up about what she's been through since her Olympic bronze medal win was reversed. The gymnast appeared in her first television interview speaking to Hoda Kopp on Monday. How are you? I know you're nervous today. <laughs> you can be honest because that's who you are. Tell me how, how you're feeling. Why are you nervous today? Um, it's okay. Honestly, it's been really, really hard just to comprehend everything that's been happening. Um, I've been able to, you know, finally now feel comfortable in a way to talk about what has been happening. I feel like I recently have been trying to tell myself I've been okay the past four, five months, and it's honestly been a very, very difficult time. And to everybody that's, you know, been supporting me and lifting me up in millions of different ways, like I say thank you all the time, and it's just been a difficult time for myself. And I'm ready to speak on my on my truth. Childs continues to fight to get her bronze win back. The 23-year-old found herself in the middle of controversy after competing at the 2024 Olympics during the women's floor final in Paris. Jordan initially came in fifth, but after her coaches challenged the scoring, judges increased her score, bumping Childs up to third to secure the bronze ahead of Romanian gymnast Ana Barbosu. In August, the Court of Arbitration for Sport would issue a ruling stating the score inquiry was submitted four seconds too late. She was stripped of her win and Ana Barbosu was presented with a bronze medal. Jordan's lawyers and USA Gymnastics, however, have since appealed the ruling to the Swiss Federal Tribunal, presenting video evidence they say proves the inquiry was submitted on time and are still working to get the ruling reversed. Yeah. We've had everything that really can show that everything was right. So I think now it's just the support that's been around me that I've been like, OK, I can't control anything that's happening on the outside. I can only control what my truth is. And I know what the truth is, and I know that we were right in everything that we were doing. In the interview, Childs got tearful as she talked about losing her aunt and grandfather in the last year and what he would say to her during this difficult time. It's definitely been a really hard year. And to know that this was the ending of something that I thought was going to be perfect. Um, but as my grandpa would always say, you know, he'd just tell me, I hate that everything happens for a reason. Mm. There's reasons on why you're the person you are. There's reasons on why, you know, people look up to you and you have such a huge inspiration. You know, you'll probably go to Google and look up something on Google. <laughs> um, but it, it goes by the quote I have tattooed on my arm is, where you are, I have been. Where I am, you will be. Mm. And it makes sense because there have been times where my grandpa has been in tough situations and he's the toughest person I've ever met in a million years and he has been able to overcome them. So how I see it in everything is I'll be able to overcome this and I'll be able to look back and say, you know what, that was just a portion of my story, mm. but it's the truth. Mm. And that's why I'm here today is to tell my truth mm -hmm. and to tell everybody around me that everything that I did was correct. Mm -hmm. That 13.766 was given to me, that bronze medal was given to me mm -hmm. in the right way. And that's what I just want everybody to understand that mm -hmm. this that's why I'm here today. When asked what happened to the bronze medal she received, Childs revealed she still has it. Where is the medal, by the way? I have the medal. Oh, well, the okay, medal then done and done. <laughs> the medal is mine. I have the medal. You've got it. <laughs>